Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, really fast, I forget if I gave these away or not, but here's two download codes. Ceremonial Bloodbath, The Tides of Blood on Sentient Ruin, and Caustic Wound, Death Posture, Full Length. Grab those, because I think it's just one per person. And we're going to be blasting Arizona State's Thorn on their split with fumes, courtesy of Gurgling Gore, and going over the encompassing Nothing by Thorn, also on Gurgling Gore. Now, this is seven tracks of amazing death doom metal if you're a fan of disembowelment imagine if disembowelment recorded in a sewer with crypts and spectral voice came around and was like hey guys i know where this badass cave is and they went to this cave and recorded inside of there and decided to add some brutal gutturals to the vocal styling at times. Yeah, you would get Thorn, the encompassing nothing. These seven tracks are mag fucking -nificent. Like, holy shit. When I first heard this, I was just like blown away. And like in the bio, it brings back to the first time the person listened to Disembowelment. Now, that's a whole story for me on its own. Like, I had smoked opium for the first time when I heard that for the first time. And, like, I couldn't feel my legs and all the riffs were coming over me. I thought it was the most terrifying thing I'd ever heard when it came to, like, extreme music. It was pretty fucking crazy. But, <laughs> thankfully, I didn't feel that way when I listened to Thorn. I just instantly was like, whoa, what was that? Like, cause it starts off very, very chill with chasms of rust. And then out of nowhere, it's just like, hey, what's up? We're Thorn and we're gonna fucking crush you like a worm. And you can't deny the Finnish vibes here. They're heavy, they're kind of up front, and the disembowelment comparisons are there because there's parts on here that are absolutely beautiful, and then next thing you know, there's fucking savage blast beats and brutal vocals, and it's so fucking good. And considering it all comes from the mind of one gentleman by the name of Brennan Westermeyer, yeah, this is fucking awesome. The split, it's a lot faster than the encompassing nothing. Still badass material, it's just a lot more straight up death metal. The more doomy elements are kind of off to the side, but you have a little bit more like Finnish atmosphere thrown in there and it works the way that it like I, I really like the thorn side of the split but the fume side is a different story but these two tracks are just fucking badass and eclipsing a dying sun and iron sharpens iron make up the thorn side of the split but these seven tracks are just fucking awesome chasms of rust haxen womb pagans monolith old father below returning to dust fields of blight and the encompassing nothing this is some fucking killer death doom metal and you know if you watch this channel, you know I am a massive fan of Death Doom Metal, and yeah, this really fucking kicked ass. Like, everything about it was just very enjoyable from 
the first to listen, I instantly was like, whoa! Like, it just caught my attention completely off guard, because I thought, I was like, whoa, like, you know, this kind of sounds like Gourmet. And then I understood why. I was like, oh, like, that's why it sounds like Gourmet, because they're probably, well, probably a little bit of Gourmet inspiration thrown into the fucking barbaric cauldron that is Thorn. And this su pretty much sums up in a painting what you're getting sonically from the encompassing nothing. And I don't really like using the term cavernous death doom metal, but that's what you're fucking getting. Very, very Finnish, but from Arizona State. I think that's like very cool, honestly. And as always with Gurgling Gore, gnarly cassette cosmetics. The seven tracks repeat on both sides, and it sounds magnificent. For real. Fucking awesome. I think Brutal Cave has the CDs. I'll put the links in the video description. But this is something that, if you're a fan of this channel and you've been watching it for a couple years, you should know if I'm recommending a Death Doom record, it's gonna fucking slay. I would not waste your time here. And Thorn, they're not gonna waste your time either. Like, like I said, from the beginning of Chasms of Rust, it like just creates this atmosphere and then crushes you into the ground and doesn't let you up for air until the end of the recording. And then it starts kind of giving you a little bit of breathing room with some very out there beautiful segments and it all flows together and creates just an amazing amazing listen that is the encompassing nothing by Arizona's one man death doom machine that is thorn and you get seven tracks each one is special in its own way like I said, if you're a fan of Disembowelment, Crips, Spectral Voice, I don't want to name drop my own band, but A Cursed Womb, if you like us, chances are very high you're going to like Thorn. This is a band I would love to do a split with because we have a lot in common, sound-wise, and just aesthetically, I feel it would be a great split, but... I think they're working on some other, some other stuff, and yeah. If you're a fan of Death Doom, and you miss the cassette, like I said, you know, if you're interested in CDs, I'll put the link so you can get a copy of this, because this is something special, and I know I said that about Krook, but when it comes to Death Doom Metal... It takes a lot for me to really, really get, like, excited. Because there's so much gnarly stuff already out there. And, you know, myself and the rest of A Cursed Womb are trying to do our own thing by adding outside elements and all sorts of stuff that you're going to hear very, very soon. But this, at times... Reminded me of this bad boy. And I didn't see it mentioned anywhere. And I don't know if Thorn was inspired by Durketta. But there was a lot of Durketta I felt. Especially like with the track Goddess of Death. It just reminded me of like the vibes that this record Till Death We Meet puts off like and this is an all female Pennsylvania death doom staple one of the heaviest bands you'll ever see live as well so aside from the vocals because the vocals have their own style to it but it really did remind me a lot 
of Derketa at times, and that's a good thing. More bands need to, like, check out Mythic, Derketa, Topos Nomos, Ritual Mass. There's a lot of gnarly bands from the other side of Pennsylvania out in, you know, the Iron City area of Pittsburgh. But Thorn hail from the depths of Arizona with some killer death doom. It sounds utterly finished, but then comes those brutal death metal elements. And at the end of the day, you get something that, you know, takes a page from disembowelment and makes it its own. And that is the encompassing nothing by Thorn on Gurgling Gore. And I think Brutal Cave Productions. I'll put the link in the video description. But they're split with fumes. It's a lot faster and sounds a lot more spectral voice y. Like, uh, and what I mean by that is like psychedelic gloom. If that makes any sense to you, trust me. L listen to Spectral Voice Peeled Veins. It's their split with Frenolith, the song they recorded from that split. That really reminded me of the song um, Iron Sharpens Iron on their split with Fumes. And Fumes is a tale for a different day, but we'll go over the split completely a different day, but... That's what we were blasting, and you need to check this out. If you're a fan of Death Doom Metal that is cavernous, but at the same time sounds like it also happened to be recorded in a sewer. Oh yeah. Definitely check this bad boy out. All seven tracks are just amazing. So, Gurgling Gore strikes again with... Arizona State's Thorn. Get into it. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. If whoever grabbed those download codes, if they worked, enjoy. Especially that ceremonial bloodbath record, because it's fucking ridiculous. But as always, like I was saying, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thank you again to Gurgling Gore and Big Daddy Gore himself for sending this gnarliness over. Just total fucking filthy, filthy, filthy death doom metal from Thorn. Puts a smile on my fucking face. And you ladies and gentlemen at home for watching this madness. It just also puts a smile on my fucking face. So, thanks again as always. You fucking rule. Have a good day. And, Hells. <laughs>